We have more from the ACC, and this is something I found interesting. Josh Pate, of course, the host of the Late Kick show on 247 Sports, tweeted out, uh, we'll figure it out in court, was the quote given to me from an ACC school last week regarding grant of rights. Uh, He said they'll be ready to move if the call comes from the Big Ten or the SEC. Uh, M-H-V-E-R-3 on Twitter. And that This was in response to him saying, ACC source telling me this morning that the school they work for has exhaustively ran the numbers, and when compared to the windfall of SEC or Big Ten money, the financial risk is outweighed by the future reward. And that's before a likely settlement to reduce the impact. So the ACC schools are getting into this. They are interested in what's going on here. Um, and one of the biggest things that, that I found interesting is and, and while everybody's talked about Clemson and Florida State to the SEC, et cetera, you're, you're starting to see some of these other names, right? For example, on Reddit, and this came from Gopher Illustrated, and the guy at Gopher Illustrated is actually uh, Greg Flugauer, and he's on Twitter. He is the guy that called Oklahoma and Texas to the SEC back in 2019, and he is the one that said USC to the Big Ten uh, basically looks likely back in March. Like, this is, he, he's he got sources. He knows what he's talking about. He put in here that the University of Miami is investigating financing options to buy out their ACC grant of rights. I, Miami has quickly realized, and we see exactly what Miami's doing, right? Miami is, we you, everybody at this point, if you are a, a diehard college football fan, if you've been listening to us over the summer, John Ruiz is a billionaire booster for Miami. He's helping their recruiting efforts with NIL. He and that other group that have put together the package to get Mario Cristobal from Oregon to Miami, he and that bunch down there in Coral Gables have figured out, we know that the ACC is not going to be a powerhouse the same way as the Big Ten and the SEC. So we need to make sure that we are able to get out of this grant of rights if somebody were to come calling. So they have already started the process. They're already looking into financing. And if you think about the amount of money that some of these boosters are worth, if they care enough, now I don't know what the return on investment would be, if the school would be obligated to pay them if they were to pay out the buyout rights. But if they were to front the money and allow them to buy out of their deal, what would it look like, right? There are still 14 years left on their rights deal for their grant of rights between the ACC and ESPN. Now, everybody widely said that this was a terrible deal to begin with, but let's just say over 14 years, then I'm doing math on the screen right now, uh, <laughs> 14 years, and let's say that the ACC schools are bringing in $30 million a piece right now. And that, that might actually be short, but that's okay. You're looking at $420 million that in ACC school, and that's if it's only $30 million per season. you got to figure out a way to get out of $420 million that these schools would be owed. And it may be less than that. It may be more than that. That's just a, a simple round number, $30 million. Uh, it's not. It's more than what the Pac-12 was bringing in. It's not as much as the other schools, right, the, the Big Ten and the SEC. But... Uh, if you are going to find a way to pay off $420 million, maybe maybe you need to do that. The way that it's written currently is that if they are to move, if Clemson moved to the SEC, all of their media rights that come from the SEC would be owed back to the ACC. So if they were to make $100 million in media rights, all of that would go back to the ACC, not just the portion that the ACC would have to make up for Clemson being gone. It would be the whole shebang. So they're going to go to court. And they're going to have to find a way to get out of this grant of rights. Otherwise, there's nothing that they can really do. I mean, they are tied legally to this. So I'm curious what ends up happening with Miami. My guess is they will find a way to get out of this. Because if, if somebody wants something done, they'll find a way to get it done. And they'll probably settle on it. Uh, it depends on Jim Phillips. Really, the commissioner of the ACC, is he willing to go down that road? Is he willing to look at expansion? Is he willing to look at anything else? So, you know, this is this is a tricky one. 
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.